Hi everybody, it's April and I am here with a quick tutorial on Cricut Design Space. I'm getting ready to make some Halloween candy bags for some friends of mine at work and I bought some, actually I think it was a free gift on svgcuts.com so I went to upload the files and they uploaded just fine and now I'm going to make these candy bags and when I go to cut them out there's a little issue and I've run into this before so I wanted to share how you clean up this issue I haven't run into it with images that are directly from the design space library or the Cricut library but with SVG cuts I have run into this before so I'm going to click images and I'm going to go to the, it'll automatically bring up the full library. I'm going to filter on my uploaded images. And I have quite a few, and the one that I'm looking for isn't in the first of the list. So I'm going to type Jack for jack-o-lantern, and here are the three images that I want. So I'm going to click all three of them and it highlights the box in green and then I'm going to click insert images. And sometimes you have to look for your image because as you can see it is not directly on my screen but if I scroll down there's my jack-o-lantern. So it looks like everything's good. I don't need to resize it and I'm going to click make it. And if you notice my little bag doesn't have any score. Whoa, uh -oh. I don't know what I did just then. My bag doesn't have any score lines, and honestly, I did not even notice that being the issue. I just looked at the bag, thought, oh, I need two of these, and upped my project copies. But I always like to flip through each mat just to make sure everything is okay and everything looks good on the first three mats. Not really, but we'll pretend it does. And I get to this fourth mat, and it's a black mat with dashes. And then I realize that the dashes actually belong on the jack-o-lantern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Cancel, and I'm going to go back to my jack-o-lantern bag. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and then I'm going to go down to the right hand side the bottom menu across and I'm going to click attach so what that's going to do is it's going to attach my dashes to my Halloween bag and that will make it so that the dashes show up on the right mat welding let's click undo and try welding welding doesn't work because it's going to make everything disappear. Actually, welding isn't even an option, so there you go. All right, so now when I click make it, click make it, there we go. I see my dashes on my jack-o-lantern bag. I see my eyes, I see my insert, and then I'm actually going to up the number because I need to make two bags and everything still looks good. So if you ever notice, it's a good idea first of all to just flip through your mats on your screen to make sure that everything looks in order. If you have multiple images that have score lines or dashed lines on them, sometimes you have to do the attach in order to get them to show up in the right image. So clicking through and finding that last mat where the dashes were by themselves saved me messing up some paper. So that is my quick tutorial for today. I hope it is helpful. If you like this video, please click thumbs up. And if you want more video tutorials like this, please subscribe. Have a great day.